Hope you guys are having a fantastic Tuesday. I'm Tamara Bennett from Southern Adornments Decor and I teach women how to paint door hangers. So if you're um, new to me, I would love for you to um, just tell me where you're from. So every Tuesday I've been trying, well, no, I can't say fourth Tuesday in a row because last Tuesday we were in the hospital with my son Brett. He had to have uh, surgery and so uh, I missed a Tuesday. But before that, I think three Tuesdays in a row, I had gone live on the page and painted. So, all right. So if you're new, just let me know. Tell me you're new here and where you're from. And if y'all don't mind sprinkling the love across Facebook, just hit that little button down at the bottom so that everybody else can watch with us. Um, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna be painting a ghost, a cute little girl ghost. Isn't she cute? Uh, this is the paper template. You can get these from me for $5. Um, as always in all of my videos, if you comment the word link, it will send you links to things in my shop that pertain to this project. So for instance, this is the paper template you can get for $5. You print it off at home, you tape it together. You know, it's several sheets of paper taped together. And I'm gonna show you now how I use this paper template to turn it into a door hanger. So I have already traced around it with a Sharpie and cut it out of uh, Revolution plywood from Lowe's. Birch plywood also works well in quarter inch, if you guys are wondering, because I know somebody's gonna say, what kind of wood do you use or recommend? I love also quarter inch MDF, but I can't get it in my town. So if I have to go buy wood, I always buy Revolution plywood, but birch plywood works also if you can't shop at a Lowe's. And the trick to getting the design on here is graphite paper. So we're gonna show you that in a minute, but first we're just gonna start by painting the whole thing white. So if y'all don't mind bearing with me for just a minute, we'll chit chat while we do that. Does anybody have any questions? I apologize that my lettering and everything is backwards. Facebook still is not letting me flip the camera so that it, everything isn't backwards. I don't know when they're gonna fix that little glitch, but I reckon they've got a lot of glitches right now they gotta work on, so. I know there's things even inside of like our Facebook groups and whatever that aren't working properly right now. Hi. Thank you, Erica. I love these earrings too. They're from inspiredbyyoujewelry.net. And if you wanna go get them, they're called Pretty in Picasso. And if you use the code PAINT10, all capital letters, P-A-I-N-T, number 10, you can get them at 10% off in Anna's shop. They were one of my Friday Fab Five items last Friday. So if you're new here, you may not know this, every Friday at 9.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, I go live on my page and um, I tell you five of my favorite things right now. And sometimes it's jewelry, sometimes it's uh, an app, sometimes it's a kind of food, sometimes it's paint supplies, you just never really know. Um, somebody asked if I pre-drill holes. No, I do not. I don't hang my door hangers that way. I use jute string. I tie a knot in, two in, in each end of the jute string and I just staple the jute string to the back of the door hanger. And the trick to keeping that jute, or sorry, the trick from keeping the quarter inch staples from going through uh, through to the front of the door hanger is you put just a, like you attach a little piece of cardboard or something to the bottom of your staple gun to create a little gap so that it's not sitting flush on your wood. And then you can staple and it will kind of keep it from going in all the way. It's a little trick, which I don't ever have any trouble with MDF getting it to not go through. I guess it's because MDF is either a little thicker or maybe it's just it's a little harder or something. I don't know, but I don't have that problem with MDF. All right, I'm painting the whole thing white, then we're gonna dry it, and then I'm gonna show you, oh, and I also need to paint my edges, and then I'm gonna show you how to use the template to get all the lines on the design so we don't have to freehand anything. Ain't nobody got time for freehanding stuff and erasing and messing everything up, because that's what I always do if I try to freehand stuff. I always end up doing a lot of erasing. I just squirted my white paint on here and now I've kind of got a little bit of a mess, so I'm just kind of picking it back up <laughs> and smearing it along the sides. Angela, you said you can never get your white smooth. Um, I posted a video, it might have been last week, but you can easily find it if you know how to go to Instagram and look at my IGTV videos and I showed how I get a smooth white background on a large piece. 
Um, I did it on a sunflower and I pretty much just water down my white, like you can dip your brush in the water also, but I just water down a little bit of white paint and use a large brush. And after you get everything covered, if you will just kind of go back over it with long broad strokes like this, it will smooth all those little bris uh, brush marks out. So just smooth, 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 long strokes. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm hoping to be able to prevent having to do two coats. It doesn't look like I'll have to at this moment, but you really, never really know until it's completely dry. Okay. <clears throat> my template off the table. So this is what we're going to be painting. Wow, you guys must be sprinkling the love on Facebook. So we've got a lot of people watching. Uh, you can join the Painters Clubhouse September 24th in 56 days. If you want to go ahead and get on the wait list, you can do that at paintersclubhouse.com and we'll send you a reminder so you don't forget. But if I don't want to forget something, I always just tell Siri to remind me. I'll say, hey, remind me, you know, that Painters Clubhouse opens back up on September 24th. And she'll say, okay. And she'll set a little reminder. So easy. I gotta touch it and test it. See if it, it feels a little bit tacky in a couple places. Okay. Oh so, yeah, when Painters Clubhouse opens, um, for the first six months, you just have access to the current content. But once you reach your six month mark, mark, you unlock access to all of the previous content that we've ever had over the past year and like three months. And it's called the Clubhouse Vault. And so then you can go back and watch all of the old content. So she was saying like, if you have the chance, if you can, to pay for the year in full and then you get instant access to the vault. So that's pretty awesome. What am I in, under Instagram? Southern underscore adornments underscore decor. I don't think very many people in, in the northern states know what door hangers are. Linda's from New York. Do people up there know what a door hanger is or do they look like uh, you like you're crazy when you talk about them? <laughs> Come visit and I'll give you a crowd. I'm moving into a bigger craft room because I need my space. Oh, I get it. I understand that. All right, this has to be completely dry before I can use my graphite paper, so. Uh, will you get notified when you've unlocked the vault? Uh, Sarah, yes. In a roundabout way, yes. We'll have to have you sign up for access on the website, so we'll make sure that you get to do that. What is your favorite kind of wood for door hangers? Quarter inch MDF or Revolution plywood? Birch plywood also works well. You're ready for fall. So something cool that we're working on um, is we are working on a frequently asked question questions page on my website for you guys because I get asked all the same questions all the time and I thought it would be great to have all that stuff in one place so that should be ready very soon for you guys. All right as you can see my paper template perfectly fits on my wood cutout. I printed this off on my computer, taped it together, traced it on my wood and then cut it out. So now I've got my wood painted white. I don't always paint my door hangers white before I do anything else but because the ghost is white I painted the door hanger white. So let's get started. I'm gonna take, where did it go? Oh, it blew off the table, just a moment. I've got a very, oh, I hit my knee on the table. I've got a very large um, piece of graphite paper here. And we're gonna put it shiny side down, see one side is very shiny, onto the door hanger. And then I'm gonna put my paper template on top. I need an ink pen. Where are my ink pens? Oh, don't tell me I packed. Oh, here's one. Okay. Um, New Yorkers don't know what door hangers are. They probably think they're those little do not disturb things that people put on their door at hotels. All right, I'm just gonna feel underneath for the wood and line this up pretty close. Doesn't have to be exact, but you know, for this design, pretty close is good enough. Now I'm gonna take my ballpoint pen and trace all of the designs on the template. So I'm tracing the eyes right now. Us Southerners need to educate the Northerners on what door hangers are. They're missing out on all kinds of fun. Trace the bow and the mouth 
and the little hands. Um, I'm going to go ahead and trace this little part down here. I like those little lines. Trace that hand. See, this doesn't take any time at all. And this is great if you're doing paint parties because you can use these templates. I'm sorry if I'm missing anybody's questions or comments. I promise after the video is over, I always go back and respond if you guys have questions, if I miss them. So um, go ahead and ask your question. And if I miss it, I'll go back and answer it in a little bit. But what I was saying was, is these are great to use at paint parties um, if you want to go ahead and just like cut out the blanks and then have all of the design pre-drawn on there for them. And then you don't have to like do any free handing of things at the party. How awesome is that? And all of these designs that I sell in my shop, you are more than welcome to teach classes with them locally. All right, you ready for the cool part? You just bought a large graphite paper at Michael's. Okay, so I got this piece from Deco Art and it's one large sheet and I know that it probably, I don't know how much it is, right, retail, I really don't. But um, you can use these like over and over, like hundreds of times. So one sheet will last you forever. All right, we're gonna pick this up, set it to the side, pick up my graphite paper. I'm just gonna throw that in the floor and I'll fold it up later. And looky here, everything we need is drawn on our door hanger. How awesome is that? So easy. You can also use that very same technique with hand lettering. If you print your lettering out on your computer, you can use the graphite paper to transfer the lettering to your door hanger and then just paint over the lettering or inside the lines or however you want to do it. How cool is that? All right. I love using egg cartons, foam egg cartons to put my paint in. So that's what you'll see me using. And um, let's see. We don't have to paint her white. We pretty much just need to paint the bow and her little candy bag. I'm gonna paint her candy bag orange. I've got my little mock-up design here to look at. And this color is called Canyon Orange by Deco Art, if you're wondering. Canyon Orange. No, we're not gonna use that brush. Do you have plus sizes in shirts? Yes, I think it goes up to 3X. Oh, baby wipes. Girl, I gotta get me some baby wipes. Charlie is too old for baby wipes now. We don't use them anymore, and so I quit buying them, but I need to go get me some just to keep in my craft room. For sure, that's that's smart. Baby wipes fix everything. So I'm just painting her little bag that she's keeping her candy in. I'm using a flat tip brush so that it makes, makes nice, smooth coverage less brush strokes. Whoops, that was supposed to be black. That's all right, I'll paint over that in a minute. I've got a picture up here I'm looking at so that I don't forget what I wanted to paint everything. Use a styrofoam plate, you buy them by the thousands. I just have egg cartons laying around here and people save them for me, so I'm not out any money for egg cartons. Yes, I am planning the next live, Vicki. It's gonna be March 5th. 6th and 7th, 2020. Um, and Painters Clubhouse members will have first dibs on buying those tickets. Connie says, I have some pencils. You trace it and iron it on. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got the basket painted. Let's paint her little bow. Let's see. I'm thinking I kind of want it to be something different, like maybe turquoise because... I feel the need to put turquoise on everything. <laughs> You'll start saving now. Good, good, good. Just put a little away every day between now and, and March and you'll, or actually this ticket's going to sale in October, so you'll need to be saving between now and October. This color is so pretty. It's called Peacock Teal. I think it looks great with orange and stuff. It's like a very good complimentary color. For those of you who don't want to paint door hangers but like to buy them, I also will be selling these painted. Um, if you comment the word link, you can get the link for that as well. And, and um, you can get the link for the blank, the template, or the painted version um, right there in your Facebook Messenger. 
You have a pink one that you use on fabric. Y'all must be talking about something else. Yes, it's going to be in Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee. March 6th is my birthday, so it's during my birthday week. You guys will get to come celebrate my birthday with me. Um, March 5th, 6th, and 7th is when it's going to be. My birthday is right in the middle of that. I'm kind of ready for some fall weather at this point. I do enjoy summer, but I like the cooler temperatures. I just don't like cold. All right, let's do a little turquoise piece of candy while we're at it, too. I may do one. Um, mm, or maybe one of these could be like part turquoise and part something else, like turquoise and purple wrapper. That would be cute. It was so much fun, Glennis. Yes, Tanya, um, if it's a door hanger like this that I have cut with a jigsaw, I always paint the edges. Now, the ones that I get that are laser cut that I sell in my shop, I don't paint the edges on those. Um, yay, I've inspired somebody to try to paint. That's awesome. It went by too fast for me to read the rest. Uh, do you know how much the tickets will be? I don't know yet. We're still having to work that out. What does the schedule at the live look like? We are still working on that as well, Mickey, but it will be three full days this year. I can tell you that much. Three full days. Last year was two half days and one full day. This year it's three full days. It's going to be awesome. Okay, now I'm just going to use yellow to paint this little piece in the middle. We're also going to add some like shading and stuff around the edge in a minute so that she's not just all white. Gonna get all this stuff in the middle filled in first. And let's see, maybe some purple. Where's my purple at? Ooh, this candy and stuff might be cute with glitter on it. Is the MDF board harder to cut? No, actually it's easier to cut. Easier. Um, are the blanks etched? Yes, they are. I showed a couple of them in my stories last night. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook stories, you will have seen what they look like etched in the stories. Not to mention the photo um, in my shop shows what it looks like etched. When adding the jute to hang, how do you keep it from banging the heck out of the door when the wind blows? Try putting a piece of, um, you know the little things you put underneath your chair to keep your chair from scratching your hardwood floor? Those little felt pads that have sticky try putting something like that on the on the part that bangs the door and see if that you know kind of creates a buffer maybe try that all right let's use some red how many of you guys are planning on joining painters clubhouse when it opens september 24th i know a lot of you guys have been asking me how, when it's going to open and um, wanting to sign up. We do have a wait list and that doesn't mean that people won't get in. That means like when you get on the wait list, that's pretty much just so that we can remind you when it opens. Cause, like anybody who signs up will get in. It's the wait list doesn't mean that we only take so many. It's just, um, so that you're reminded essentially. Yay. Tracy is, Melissa is awesome. Mickey, you bought some new brushes this past weekend and have been so excited to paint with them. Funny how we get so excited. I know, I'm like a kid sometimes when I get new brushes. I can't wait to break them open and paint. All right, um, let me get a really light teal color and some white. And we're going to try to do just a tiny bit of shading on the outside edge. Blue tack it. Oh, my mom suggested um, like sticky tack. You know what that stuff is? Blue tack, sticky tack to put on the back of your door hanger to keep it from banging the door. <laughs> Hunk of Bunk said they met me at Refab Live. Awesome! Can you tell us more about it? Absolutely. Um, Painters Clubhouse is my membership group. It's $37 a month. And we teach how to paint door hangers in that group. So every month you get two templates and two tutorials, you know, to go along with the template. One is always taught by me and one is taught by a guest painter. 
and um, then you'll usually get some sort of like technique video or something like that that will um, let you um, hang on I'm trying to focus on what I'm doing here where's my white it will um, kind of help you advance your skills so whether you're a beginner or you are um, a, an advanced painter there's something for everyone um, if you're a beginner, you're going to walk you through it from the beginning so that you know exactly what you need to do in order to learn how to paint door hangers. If you're advanced, you can skip past some of the beginner stuff and you can um, just focus on learning more hand lettering techniques or um, focus on uh, bow making skills or you may even just want to be there for the community. I know there are so many women who are mainly in there just for the community part of it. They feel like they have a sisterhood and everyone is so sweet and supportive and they're always willing to share their designs and their ideas. And, um, you know, there's no like pettiness or je jealousy or any of that in that group. Everyone is so kind and we are all there to learn, grow and lift one another up. So it is a wonderful, wonderful community. Last night we had, um, this is something we do every month. It's called, we call it round table paint night. And it is a Zoom call where we all get on together face to face and we paint together. And it's just like girl time. We don't even necessarily teach anything in that. We just sit and paint together. We're all doing different kinds of projects. And it's like we all just decided to get together and paint. And so last night we got to talking about school and what we, you know, there's one or two of them that are like teachers. And so we got to talking about stuff like that. And you just never know where the conversation's going to go because it's, it's like a girl's night essentially. <laughs> So it's just, it's like actually my bet, my favorite part of the entire membership is that time together painting and just chatting. So that's, that's my favorite part. So if you are kind of like needing a little bit of girl time or needing a little bit of crafting time and you just um, need that little push to actually do a project or get a project done, those nights are great because they kind of like designate that night as your time to get things done and to work on a project. Okay, can you see that shading I'm doing? I'm dipping my brush in white and teal and water and just kind of like smearing and smoothing and getting it all blended. Round table is the best, Erica. <laughs> she was there last night too. Hey, Debbie from North Carolina. Pam says I was on the list last time but couldn't join at that time. Do I need to put my name back on the list? You should still be on it. Donna, it's $37 a month, and it'll be opening September 24th. But we would love for you guys to join us. If you're feeling a little bit like, I gotta turn this this away. If you're feeling a little bit like unsure about where to start when it comes to painting door hangers and you wanna um, just have somebody kinda help you through that and like figure out what part to do first and you know, what designs are even popular right now and stuff like that, the clubhouse is great for that. Um, I just know that like it's so uplifting for me to hang out in there and see everything everyone's working on and a lot of times if you're feeling discouraged because maybe you aren't getting sales right now or uh, maybe you're like some of us even have like health issues going on I know there's a lot of ladies in the group who have like fibromyalgia and stuff like that and so sometimes it can be very encouraging for them to just talk to the other ladies about it and kind of say you know what do you do when your hands are shaking and you um, I just realized I didn't paint all of that the right color. Um, what do you do when your hands are shaking and you can't make smooth paint lines and stuff like that? And so a lot of those ladies talk with each other and kind of share tips for um, how to work through that. So, all right. Let me see if I can put a little bit of shading there, a little bit there. The shading I probably should have done before I did all the colors on here because now I'm trying not to get it on certain areas but we're gonna put a little more white you painted your schoolhouse today how how cute was it Clara did it, oh it is so stinking cute awesome hi Shannon you met me at refab live oh thank you I'm so sorry Shannon that I didn't get to hang out longer at refab live I really uh, felt I was like so sad that I had to leave a little early I had other commitments that later that day and um, I told Brooke, I texted her after the event. I was like, girl, I am so sorry I didn't get to stay longer. I promise if you have me back next time, I'm coming before it starts and I'm not leaving till after it's over. Like, I want to be there for all of it. It was so fun. 
So she's like, don't worry about it. She's just as sweet as, as can be. Y'all know her. If you don't know Brooke Riley, you need to go follow her. She's another Kentucky girl. She sounds very Southern. Somebody actually asked the other day if we were sisters or related or anything like that. I'm like, no, not truly, but we, we do love each other like sisters and support each other. And I just think she's the sweetest and we have tons in common. So we get along great. I'm going to blend just a little bit of white into a little, I got a little bit too much teal in some spots. So I'm going back and just blending a little bit of white in here to kind of look like a little bit of a, like a highlight almost. Cause I don't want this to be, I don't want her to look like a blue ghost. I just wanted the blue to kind of add some depth and stuff. So we're going to add a little bit more white back in there. Kind of hard to concentrate when I'm busy like talking and trying to read comments to get this to turn out exactly like I want. But once again, as I always say, it does not have to be perfect. It's going to be handmade and it's going to be cute. And we're not going to worry about being perfect. Okay. You've been thinking about doing a pastel pink ghost. Ooh, that might be cute. Kentucky girls rock. Yes, they do, Tracy. All right, I gotta paint the rest of this little bag orange. I realized after I looked at my picture again that this whole line right here is supposed to be candy bag. I made her candy bag way too dainty and small. I got, I'm shedding hair too right now. I don't know if it's because it's like hot summertime and my hair is just like, nope, you got too much of it. Or what it is, but. Seems like this time of year, I always shed a lot of hair. So, Brett is feeling much better, Lynette. Thank you for asking. Let me dry this, and then we're gonna do our finishing touches. Joyce, I would just start with um, a number you would be happy to get. Like, for instance, when I first started selling door hangers, I was selling them for like $25 and $30, and I was pleased as punch to have that money. <laughs> and then after I'd been doing it for a little while, I started to increase my prices to $30 and $35, and now I'm selling them for $40 and $45. So it's just as you go, you, you end up, you know, increasing your price because, you know, your skills have improved, your... Um, door hangers look better than they used to and you're able to charge more. Uh, Carol says, I just got the beetle and I'm going to paint it this week. It'll be my first door hanger. I'm doing it live. Oh, girl, you're going to paint it live. Good for you. Uh, you have some blanks coming. Yay. Yes, you do, Joanne. I just shipped them out this morning. I took them to the post office. I remember writing your name on the box. So that's headed to the post office today. Hi, Mary. Thank you so much. I'm gonna show you like a quick little sneaky peek what we got going on so far. Here's our little ghost. And we're gonna add some um, accent lines in just a second. Let me find a good brush. This one looks good. Let me see if the bristles are gonna lay down flat. Some of mine are in rough shape. I think Charlie's been up here manhandling them. Nope, this one's not cooperating with me. Let me try another one. I come in here this morning and there were two brushes on the table and they had been dipped in black paint and left to dry and Charlie must have done it. Hey Kim, how are you? Thank you so much. Yes, she is a mess, Erica. She's taking a nap right now, so. And she didn't want to take a nap. I had to talk her into it. I said, it's just a little nap, just a little one. <laughs> but she didn't know that sometimes when she actually does crash out, she'll end up sleeping for two hours. I'm gonna take these braces, bracelets off. I feel like they're in my way. Okay, we're gonna do some of our outlines and stuff on the door hanger with black and a round tip brush. This is like the little, um, her little bucket that she's got. This is like her the little handle to the bucket. There we go. And then we've got like the stick. Okay. 
I'm just going to do some like little wavy lines along the edges of these candy wrappers so they look crinkly. And then we'll go back with some white too and add some more um, accents. Hello, Kay Landrum. How are you? Thank you, Robin and April. If you guys don't mind, sprinkle the love across Facebook for me and hit that little button at the bottom. I appreciate it so, so much. It helps a lot with um, getting more views and stuff because, you know, Facebook so it doesn't show everything to everybody anymore like they used to. So I just appreciate that. Hang on, I gotta look at my picture again. See how these lines are supposed to look. Hi, Tammy. Okay, this goes kind of like that. And then there's an outline. I'm gonna go back and add the outline last because um, I don't wanna get my hand in it while I'm painting other details. I'm actually going to have to rotate it so I don't get my hand in the wet paint. Look how cute it's looking. So cute. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. You know what? I forgot to tell you. We usually give away a blank of one of whatever I'm painting for somebody who sprinkles the love. So um, it'll be completely random. I'll just choose someone at random to um, message to, but you have to hit the little share button and you have to comment that that's what you did. Otherwise, sometimes Facebook doesn't show me who did it. So let me know if you hit the share button so that I can um, message you if you're the one who gets it. Brown brush probably wasn't the best thing to fill in these eyes with, but I hate to switch brushes part way through. You shared the love. Thank you, Latrice. You guys are so sweet. What is a cute ghosty without eyelashes? I forgot I was going to put polka dots on her bow. I suppose we can go back and do that. What color polka dots would you do? Ooh, how about yellow? Yellow polka dots? You think that would look cute on her little teal bow? Or orange? Yellow or orange? Let's vote. Vote yellow if you like yellow. Vote orange if you think orange. Hello. <laughs> Wanda, thank you so much. You guys are so sweet. All right, I'm going to get a different brush to fill that in. Um, it's just smearing. Not doing what I want it to do. It's way faster to get something else and fill it in. And it's smoother. When Anytime you try to use a round tip brush to fill in an area, you're going to get tons of brush strokes. And then you're going to be like, oh, that looks kind of rough. But if you get something else and like smooth it out, it'll look so much better. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Everybody's saying yellow. Is yellow the consensus? Let's see. I've got a little sponge dauber over here. We could use that to do. <laughs> Somebody said yellow and orange. Thank you for sharing, Sarah. All right, I guess I'll just do yellow and I'm gonna use my little sponge dauber. I'm not gonna mix yellow and orange since I don't have two of these little sponge daubers sitting here, but this will make it pretty quick. If you don't have any of these, these are a must in your craft stash. And um, you can get them in my, sh in my Amazon affiliate shop, which I can give you guys the link to if you want. Um, it's amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Southern Adornment Decor. Or you can just get them at the Walmart in the craft section, like the, by the paints and the brushes and stuff. Okay, 
Let's go back and add some more accent lines with black and white. We're gonna finish the black first. This is so cute. Charlie is gonna love this. She loves anything girly. And this little bow on top of this ghost head, she's just gonna flip. She's gonna love it. You've used these for years, me too. Um, and somebody in our Painters Clubhouse, Miss, I think it was Shana Welch, shared a cool tip. If you wanna do like a polka dot that's hollow in the middle, that's more like a circle dot, use the end, the opposite end of a Nerf bullet. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, I gotta try that. That is really ingenious. Cause it's like a hollow dot. So if you haven't tried that, give it a shot. Hi, Jill, you did catch me live. How are you doing? So every um, Friday and Saturday in my um, Instagram stories, we take a poll on what it, like every Friday we have new five new designs that are released. And so this past Friday, this ghost was one of the five Halloween designs that we released. And um, so then on my Instagram stories, we always do a poll asking you, uh, like we choose two, and then we ask you which of the two you wanna see me paint live on Tuesday. And this past week, the vote was between this little ghost and uh, a sugar skull which if you don't know what a sugar skull is, they're like the cute little skulls with the flowers and cute designs on them, kind of like Day of the Dead, like um, Dia de los Muertos, you know, for Mexico. Is it Mexico or is it Spain? I think it's Mexico. Um, but anyway, the ghost won. And I was a little disappointed because I kind of did want to paint that, go that sugar skull, but um, now I really do love the ghost and I think it's, um, I think y'all made the right call. So if you're not following me over on Instagram and you haven't voted before on what we're gonna paint, you need to head over there and um, follow me on Instagram and keep up with my stories every weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, so that you can vote for what I'll be painting each Tuesday. Yes, the sugar skull would have been fun. It's okay, maybe another time. Ow, just hurt my toe. All right, let's do some little accents with the white. Let's do like a little swirly do in the middle of this little lollipop. And maybe like little wiggly designs on this candy wrapper. Love it. The white accents just really make it something else. Let's do some up here on the bow. All right, I think I'm done, guys. Look how cute she is. Is she not precious? You bought the sugar skull template and you're wanting to paint it once you get caught up. Okay, well, Melissa, when you get it painted, show us a picture because we want to see it. <laughs> paint it this week, too. Stacy. I don't know if I'll have time. <laughs> Trust me, I'll have the viewers. Well, we had almost 300 people on here today. You guys are so sweet um, for sharing the love. So somebody will be getting a blank of this cute little ghosty. And if you want to buy the... The template, it's $5. The blank, I think, is $22, and it comes etched with the design on it, so you don't have to, like, it's like paint by number, essentially. And then if you want to buy it painted, you can get it for $40. Just comment the word link, and it'll send it straight to your Facebook Messenger, so you don't have to go hunting for it in my shop. Jill says, do you put anything on the door hangers before you put them outside? Yes, I spray them with Rust-Oleum lacquer. Um, pretty much any kind of clear enamel spray will work, as long as it doesn't have, like, polyurethane in it. Polyurethane tends to yellow paint, it, like turns it kind of yellowy. So thank you for sharing. You have to comment shared if you want to be entered because um, otherwise Facebook might not let me know. Let me show you like a little closer up version of the dots and the candy. How cute is that? All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll be back again next Tuesday to paint whatever you guys vote is your favorite. And then I'll be back on Friday morning at 930 a.m. Central Standard Time for our Friday Fab Five. 
I'll be sharing five of my favorite things with you guys. And don't forget to tell Siri to remind you that Painters Clubhouse opens September 24th so you don't miss out because we won't be opening it up again until next spring. So you're going to be kicking yourself if you forget. <laughs> All right, you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again Friday.